Hey guys, we're going to open a box, 36 packs of Magic the Gathering. We'll open it from this side and we'll just keep the more valuable cards. So far, I've opened these from pre-release kits and I actually have a, had a another Lily Honor foil non-promo version. So 36 packs, let's go ahead and start opening. I guess I'll set this aside like right here. So, negate. Definitely the best part about opening packs is the fact that you get all the uncommons and stuff. Uh, champion, Hound. Wow, okay, this is the card I wanted to see. I love this card, because I made, I have another video on my channel called Best Standard Combo Ever, and it's this card with the red card that gives it double strike and trample. Very good card. Uh, Outland Kalashtis. We're gonna head and put it here on the side. So creature giant five, renowned six. Whenever it can't be blocked by more than one creature, and it is a six six. So give it trample and double strike. It becomes very, very, very good. Okay. I can already see this being kind of messy. This card was very good. I like this and sealed quite a bit. Dreadwater, Tormented, War Oracle, Elite, and huh, what is this card? I've not seen this card. Orbs of, so what does it do? Five, you have Hexproof. If a creature would deal damage to you, prevent one of that damage. So, Unless I'm missing something, probably not playable. Not playable. All right, let's go ahead and open something good. Cleric, Javelin, Glory Chaser is very good. I do need a play set of those. Rogue Pack Passage. Okay, we have this card. I know a lot of you don't like me calling it a particular blue mage, but I like it a lot. As a red mage, I'm glad they printed a so a lot of Magic Origin is cards that kind of look good, but they are actually not that good. They kind of resemble like a good card, but no foil so far. Okay. Charging Griffin was very good at pre-release. This card's very good in mail. And... Hmm. Lightning Hound. Okay, Meddler. So we did get another Meddler. So far we have uh, done four packs and we have missed on every pack. Maybe the Outland is worth some money, but I don't know. This card was very good and limited. It might actually see play in standard. I mean, it's assuming the artifact support is there for it. Love this card. Oh, so this is, okay. Um, Hanger Back Walker. Enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Whenever it dies, you put a one one colorless. Oh, it's not bad. And a foil Skyraker Giant. So not, I'm looking for that mythic. Obviously we're looking for Planeswalkers and then also mythic dragons. I know the mythic dragon is not worth a exceedingly high amount of money, but still. Nightmare, Wolf, Husk, Glider, Bond. Oh, and this is the intro. Wow, we are six packs in. I'm a little worried. Tiny bit worried that these packs are not as good as they should be. Okay. Planeswalker, please. Dragon Fodder, uh, reprinted yet again. Visionary is a good reprint. This card is very good in limited. Eye Blight Massacre. Okay, this is not a bad card. It has been reprinted a few different times. I think the last time was in Commander but it is a very good card actually for the Grite Enchantment deck and I'm 
pretty, I like the fact that they made enchantments good now, but I don't like the fact that it's kind of too late. Uh, do, do, do. Dread water, suppression. Will breaker, and a foil elf. Interesting. A uh, will breaker is whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes a target of a spell ability, you control gain control of that creature for as long as you control will breaker. The good news, or I guess the bad news, is we have not pulled a mythic yet, so we should have a few different mythics left. Okay. We'll go a little faster from this point on because we've already seen most of the cards. Sky Dragon. Okay. Interesting card. Cannot be countered. Haste. Cannot be target of non-green spell. So it's card's not bad. And a Foil Demolis. Come on. Something good, please. Uh, let's see, what we what do we have? Claustrophobia, Glory Seeker, Priest of the Blood Rite, huh. When Priest of the Blood Rite enters the battlefield, put a 5-5 demon creature with flying onto the battlefield. Beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life. That's not bad, that's actually very good. Especially in limited. I feel like we've opened 12 packs already, maybe a little bit more. And we have yet to see a mythic. Geist, Tomb, Tainted Remedy, two in a black. If a opponent would gain that life, that player loses that much life instead. So we have seen quite a bit. Um, so I'm just gonna summarize all this right now and then put them in its own pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11. So we've seen 11 packs so far. And let's go. Dragon Fodder. Read the Bones. Very good. This card is very good. I like it and limited a lot. Sentinel. Another Knight. And then a Tower Geist foil. So we do get plenty of foils. And another Knight of the White Orchid. So we have a playset of those now, and we are down to 24 packs left. <laughs> Come on, don't let me down. And we didn't even get any of the pain lands yet. Talent of the Telepath, this one is the mill seven and you get to pick, play a card. So I might see some type of play, but I don't know if it will be in standard. In the EDH, it seems really fun. You can actually play two cards if you have Spell Mastery, which at that point, if you're blue, you should probably have that. The Gate, Impulse, Helm of the Gods, very good for enchantments. It is you, your enchanted creature gets, or equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control. One to equipped. All right. Um, Wolf was pretty good. Impulse is not bad. Messenger. Wow. So Helion number like five. I just keep getting this card. <laughs> Not much I have to say about it. It's okay for what it is. Definitely a very good limited card. Sleep, okay. Two lids, Glory Hunter, Troll, and another Knight. Um, so definitely we have multiple play sets of Knight uh, right now. And wow, am I just pulling really poorly or is all the good cards left in the end? Maybe it'll be an epic ending, who knows. And Impulse, Revival, Starfish. Our first Mythic, and I did pull this during pre-release. It's okay. Um, it's not actually that great when in Limited.
Bone to Ass is a fun card to play with. Uh, Classophobia, Hydrolass, Chandra's Ignison. So this is a good card. Uh, it will automatically activate Chandra, and it fits Chandra pretty well. Target creature you control deals damage to its power to each creature and each opponent. And yeah, pretty cool card. I feel like we have all of the rares minus Goblin Pile Driver. So yeah. Claustrophobia, Impulse, Blaze, Tainted Rem. Okay. This is just insane because we got so many of these Knight of the White Orchid that it's crazy. Plus the fact that we have multiple promo versions of it. I think this is a promo version of it. So, yeah. Okay, it is. Okay, it's Yagamir's Coast, so it's not like the worst card you could pull. Those pain lands, although it's kind of nice because if you're playing standard, you should already have most most of your pain lands anyway. I'm just going to use a different technique now. Maybe it's all about the technique. Oh, and there's also that mythic angel I really want. It's blue. Slow. <laughs> wow. And wow but it's okay i have another fat pack um worth of cards to open so no biggie and i'm actually giving away a, a pseudo fat pack or giving away nine 14 packs i believe is what it is 14 different packs wow a lot of foils but not I feel like that is definitely at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there we go. And I'll do a recap at the very end of the video. So if you want to skip this and see if I did well on this, uh, you can skip it and Titan Strength, Rita Bones. Tower guys. Wow. Wow. How many of these do I have now? Uh, just in case you guys forgot, uh, I pulled one, not one, not, well, this is the other one, not two, and this evolutionary leap, but f so many of these. And I pulled a Dem Dorn in pre-release as well, and then obviously in my Nisa pack. So yeah, does anyone want uh, free Helions? Because I have them, and they're not going to be worth that much money. Alright, come on. Spy Network, I have a ton of Spy Networks as well. So yeah. <laughs> I think this box has come down to you, or the whole box and kits and all of that stuff have. Maybe it's $10. Maybe $10. Merchant is nice. Like that card, Murder Investigation. Wow. There's not that many. That's not many packs left at all. No pile driver. Even one. And me fetch land. Wow. Another Helion. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I mean, it's nice that we got to open this. One mythic so far out of the box. Crazy. Revenge again. So, a lot of duplicates in this particular box. And please get there. Please, please get there. I don't know what we need to pull to get there, but hopefully it's in this pack. Tragic Arrogance. We pulled every single, like... All right, we'll go super fast now. Oh, 
Hollowed Moonlight. Um, this card people have been talking about until end of turn if a creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile instead. Draw a card. Card is not terrible, but... Okay. I'm going to probably title this $5 Magic Origin Booster Box. And then people will be like, oh, it's not a good title. Tactics and Sanctum. Of course. Wow. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Second Mythic. Okay. I can't title it $5 box anymore. Okay. We have five packs left, I believe. We have another two fat packs left to go. One of these fat packs will be given away, but you guys want to know what's on it. Liliana, very good card. I think it's 25 bucks right now, so it's not going to exactly save this, but hey. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, that's not nine. Nine. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is 36 packs. And we have two more. Fat packs left to go. Okay, we got foil. Oh, Evolutionary Leap is not bad. It's an interesting card in limited. Interesting card in standard, probably, maybe. Wheel Breaker again. Turn to Frog. Tormented. Please give me another. Can I just ask for one Chandra, maybe? Oh, interesting card. No reason that cards ever see play, but okay. Blood Gas is just far superior. I think we still have at least one Mythic left. Forge. Um, is okay, I guess. It's not the best card that you can pull, but... Now I'm excited to open my fat pack because I definitely feel like I'm do some oof. demonic pack. So that is our so it is a box and we did get our mythics and here's the highlight of this particular box would be demonic pack is a very I like the card Battlefield Forge Evolutionary Leap Liliana so maybe we got like forty bucks back maybe Hollowed Moon. Moonlight, Helion, Hyxis, Ember, 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 <laughs> Leap, lots of these Ember, <laughs> uh, Night, Night, I'll show you my Night collection from just Magic Origins, Night, Land, Land, Night, wow, do they just, if the Embers were pile drivers, this would be the most insane box ever. And I think the odds are the same. I don't feel like Power Driver should be any less. But we did get a Lily Honor. And that I'm extremely grateful. I, I am just very grateful we were able to pull that. So our Mythic score, that one. And what was, oh, Demonic Pack was. So we had two Mythics towards the end. You're guaranteed about three to four Mythics a box. And out of those three to four Mythics, um, you, one of them should probably, I think it's 50-50, one of them will be a Planeswalker, which is kind of nice. It is kind of nice that it happens. Anyway, the box wasn't too bad, and it, it definitely was saved at the end, but still, that was kind of a crazy box. With all the Helions and stuff. Bye, guys.